I'm Jim Dufek. I am in the TV and film option of the department. I'm operations manager for the uh, TV and film area, which means I have responsibilities for having student staff check stuff in and out and doing budgets and things like that. Um, work with Anthony on the sports program and also then control um, the schedules for Rose Theater and down here at the studios down here at the Rush Center. The thing that brings me back every day is obviously the students because of their energy, because of their creativity, because the, the profession has grown so much over the past three decades. The opportunities to do what you're doing with a small camera wouldn't have been possible 10 years ago. And 20 years ago, it would have been impractical, if not impossible. So every day when you're seeing what some of the tools are provided to the students and then what their creative energies allow them to storytell, we just kind of feed off of each other, trying to give them guidance to make uh, a beginning, middle, and end of the story, and then let them harness what it is that they can use to tell that story. That's what, that, that energy is what keeps me going, it really does. I always profess this at the very beginning, when students start coming in to visit, this is not an easy profession. We work long hours, the equipment takes a lot of setup, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of creative abilities to be able to tell the story. So it's not, it is not an easy profession, and we are in high demand. So if they have to have a love of being able to do a pre-production process, then the production process of, of loading equipment in, setting it up, getting the lights, testing the audio, and then when you're done, you're not even finished, because now you have to go back and edit. Now you have to go back and correct the call. You have to do the sound effects. You have to do uh, graphics and music sound beds and things like that. So it, the process takes a long time. So the, that ideal patient excuse me, that ideal student is someone that has patience, that someone has uh, the wherewithal to be able to understand this takes a long time to set it up, to shoot, to edit, and appreciate the experience from idea, the concept of the idea stage, all the way to having it streamed online or broadcast or put on the internet. It's, it's an amazing feeling to have that accomplishment. So the ideal student is that student that understands the beginning, middle, and end process and putting the story together. During the school year, there's not a lot of time because you're, you're, you're working on weekends too because the production sometimes requ require you to be out in the field working because students have to shoot sometimes in the field. Some of our sports engagements require some uh, activities in the fall that require things in the weekends. Uh, but I'm pretty active in the community. I'm pretty involved in, in uh, programs. I'm on the board of the hospital. I'm on the board of the College of Nursing. Uh, I do things with the Chamber of Commerce. I'm in the Rotarian group in town. Uh, takes takes time to be involved in the community, but personally, my my hobby is I break bake bread. I'm a bread maker. That's a hobby for me. It's a, something that I've always I've done for, gosh, almost close to 40 years now. Different varieties of breads. It's just very relaxing, and I can share it with friends, share it with family, and uh, it's just something that I find to be therapeutic. It takes a while to do it, but it's just something that I do.